Hey y'all, so today I'm going to tell you about two different ways to learn Unity quickly, entirely free, and at your own pace. One quick note is that it would help me out a ton if you could please subscribe, like, and comment below. It means a lot for this channel. I would really appreciate it. I had no idea how slept on Unity Learn was as a resource, and I've also made a custom curated playlist for those just trying to learn Unity quickly and get their skills up fast in all of the areas that I think are necessary to get dangerous with the engine. So let's start off with Unity Learn, and I'll cover this for a couple minutes, and then I'll cover my list for a couple. We'll make this a nice and short video. Inside of Unity Learn, which if you just Google it, it'll take you here or go to learn.unity.com, you have many, many hours of content, if not weeks of content, that you can go in and learn at your own pace, with project files, with guided videos, and it will teach you different disciplines along the way. So right here on the home page, you can get into what's new, what are the essentials, what are the different pathways, and what's new. What are the, the courses that have just come out recently? You can also explore some content. I'm gonna tell you right now, I go straight into the Learn Pathways. Once you're in the pathways, you can then very quickly dive into what you need. It may ask you to log in. You just log in with your Unity ID. You don't need any sort of license for this. It just does that so that it can log how far you've made progress along each of these steps. But if you have a personal license, that's entirely fine. Don't feel like this is gate kept behind any sort of paywall. So the main thing that I recommend everyone do is go in and do the Unity Essentials if you've not yet. You can see that it lists here that it should take around two weeks to get through if you're working at a, a relatively slow intermediate pace. And this would be getting through and understanding what's happening inside of the engine. Why is it useful? From there, I would go into whatever you think applies most to you. Uh, one of these days, maybe I'll finally do the junior programmer one because I still just don't program. I don't enjoy programming, but I still need to brush my skills up a little bit. Uh, creative core is one that would apply to me as someone who's more in the technical art side and then VR development and mobile AR development. I've actually taught both of these entire courses um, through all of the, the steps myself. So if I go into one of these pathways, let's say VR development, I then have a mission that is VR basics with tutorials and videos for each. Then I have a mission on how to use events and interactions a mission on ergonomics and optimization, and a mission on custom VR development. So let's say that I wanna go into audio and haptics. You're gonna see very quickly what that looks like. We're at 2.1 here. I click the video and then can very quickly see why we're learning this, come down into actual application within the editor and starting to see how I'm going to be using different ray casts and, and pieces of haptic feedback on the controllers themselves. It's an amazing resource. So my point is Unity Learn exists, go check it out. The other piece of this is how big the creator community is, myself included within making YouTube videos. And I will put a link to this in the description below. But this is a playlist that I have personally curated to try to teach everything that I think is of the utmost importance. Each of these videos is around 10 to 20 minutes. So assuming that this is around 30 videos, if each was 10 minutes, 300 minutes divided by 60 per hour, about five hours. If you went through and watched everything and followed along with it, maybe double that. So it's really not a crazy investment in time. So just to go all the way back here to one of the very first videos that I ever posted, we have lighting in Unity, all the way out into post-processing volumes, basic particle effects like snow and rain, how to use the XR interaction toolkit with VR and get into setting up your scene, volumetric clouds and water systems in HDRP environments, importing animated characters into Unity, adaptive probe volumes, Unity Asset Manager, graphics updates in Unity 6 like uh, GPU occlusion culling and other technologies, Adaptive probe volumes using scenario blending. Intro to Unity for hub and editor UI in Unity 6. 
taking a look at the time ghost samples so that you can understand how a lot of the more advanced pieces work together here. Unity 6 overview for features. Intro to Cinemachine. How to import Gaussian splats into Unity. Build profiles in Unity 6. Web GPU support in Unity 6.1. Trigger events and colliders. The complete beginner's guide to VFX graph. Pro Builder. VR and AR beginner's guide, just what is this industry? Unity recorder package, building your first augmented reality app, using the visual scripting to make your own menu system in Unity, beginner's guide to shader graph, what's new in Unity 6.2, how to use Unity's terrain system, how to use UI toolkit, and specifically the new world space capabilities that came with Unity 6.2, and lastly, how do you know which game engine you should be picking? So I'm going to continue to add videos to this list, but I wanted you all to know that I went through all of my videos. I picked the ones that I feel like are really the most important to understand and get up to speed quickly. I hope that you find value in this and that having this list is one more resource that you can use when on your learning journey. So I hope everyone here is having a great day. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next one.